right, guys. Welcome to the video. Uh, let me just adjust here this a little bit. Woo! All right. So, so far, you guys have only seen this rig, my 75 series Toyota Land Cruiser. We're heading to my place now, and I'm going to show you my actual wheeler. Gotta grab some gears first, though. So, I've got a 1991 Range Rover Classic. It's on Dana 60, got a GM Dana 60 in the front, 14 bolt in the rear, Detroit lockers in both axles. It's got a 700 R4, four speed transmission, coupled to the original Land Rover LT230 transfer case. It took me a couple years to build that truck up, it already had a small block Chevy in it, and I did a couple other upgrades. This weekend, we're going to be heading out to Klein Butte OHV. We're going to go do some serious rock crawling. So that's kind of like where it all started with me was that this this rig we're going to look at. I uh, This was my first big locked four-wheel drive, locked wheeler. I've loved it ever, ever since. It's not really like a road-going rig. Not like I, I use this one as kind of like my daily driver, kind of not really. I drive it around for fun. I've taken it to Wyoming, to Nevada, to Seattle, to all over the uh, Northwest. This this Toyota has been, but I've always had my '91 Range Rover that I use for mainly four wheeling. Hey guys, Quentin with Always Off-Road, and today we get to meet Bob. Bob, you say? Bob is the most built Range Rover I've ever seen, and I think probably the most built Range Rover possibly in the world. Alright, so this is my 91 Great Divide Edition Range Rover. Well. Sort of a Range Rover, I guess you could call it uh, mostly Chevy with a little bit of Land Rover attached. It's got 37 inch Maxxis Trepidors on beadlocks. Full Dana 60 Chevy drop, Detroit locker. Under the hood. We've got a fully rebuilt small block Chevy 400. It's got, I don't know if you can see that, but it's got Holly Sniper EFI. The rear axle is a 14 bolt Chevy. It's got chromoly axle shafts. Detroit locker. It's linked. Nitro gears in the rear. Full cage. If I can get the door open. Hold on, guys. There we go. Gee, the wheeler. Alright, so we've got full cage, gauges, fuel cell in the back, if you guys are into Mopars let me know, we'll build the hell out of that thing, worn HS 9500 high speed, Custom front winch bumper. Back 
back up here. I've run this thing in the snow all over Central Oregon. Custom Land Rover Series rear bumper. It's been bobbed. I guess that's why we call them Bob. It's been bobbed uh, down to a two door. Used to be a four door, bobbed down to a two door. Stubby Bob. Pretty good shape for what it is. Got a few dents, dings. It's a wheeler, I use it. Three inch Rover Time lift. It flexes amazing. But yeah, there you guys go. There's Bob. I'm gonna go ahead and fire him up. Show you guys what it sounds like. That door opened easier. <laughs> All right, guys. Fuel pump, there's our Holly EFI. Hopefully it starts. Try again. Yay! Yay! She fired up. Custom gauges. Oh, the party lights. I can't miss the party lights. All right, I mean, you can see that. Right by four wheel drive, a little button here. Flip it, and she is full blown party mode. Yeah! Oh man, that's a sick ass thumbnail, ain't it? Yeah! Can't forget the friggin' party, boys. Sounds pretty good for what it is. Maybe we can look underneath now. This got a broke ass drive shaft, but we'll get her cootered up. Shade 14 volt. There you go. That's my wheeler. All right, guys. So that's Bob, the one-ton Range Rover. Bob, because it's only two doors. Bob, because it's stubby. Let me know if you guys want to see this thing wheeled. We're going out this weekend, Klein Butte. We're gonna go uh, with a couple buddies. They mostly have Toyotas, but we're going to show them what a Range Rover can do.